Good day and welcome friends, it's me again, Zero Option. The only dude on YouTube who makes videos about this subject, apparently. Once again, I'm here to regale you with some information about the greatest warriors of mankind. The implacable bulwark of the mighty Concordiat of man. The real, undisputed king of the battlefield. The Bolo Tank. And if you stay to the very end of this video, there'll be a new series announcement where you may get to take part in. Continuing the series I've started here on this channel, today we are going to look at the reason we love these absolute monsters of the battlefield. They're AI systems. Let's face it, 90% of the stories we love about these beasts, they're told from the perspective of the AI personalities themselves. From Nike to Shiva, there's something utterly refreshing about war told from the perspective of the weapons being used during it. So to begin, in canon, there's really only two categories of AI and that is autonomous and non-autonomous. And, well, that's really boring. Really, really boring. So I've gone ahead and charted it up a bit. I've redone the categories. Now I've got four. Why? Because I want to pad the run time a little bit. Sue me. You'll see why in just a second. So category number one, no AI. I'm just gonna get this one out of the way right now. Marks one to 20 did not pass S. What qualifies as AI in universe? So we can just discount two thirds of all the bolos right then and there. Now do you see why I wanted to pad the runtime just a little bit? So moving on, category two would be limited sapient AI, marks 20 to 23, from year 2796 to 2961. Category three, fully sapient, from marks 24 to 32, from year 2961 to year 3356. And the final category, fully symbiotic from Mark 32 to Mark 34, year 3356 onwards. So let's get a little bit more detail on each of the categories from two to four. Marks 20 to 23 were in category two, limited sapience. This is where the Concordiate first introduced psychotronic circuitry into their bolo tanks. This firstly enabled true self-aware artificial intelligence, despite being rather bloodthirsty in their personalities. However, being a very new technology, humans were kept in the loop for all strategic decisions. And for those who don't speak in military parlance, strategy is the overarching set of planner goals during a war. For example, changing strategies is like trying to turn around an aircraft carrier. It can be done, but not quickly. Tactics are the specific actions and or steps that you take to accomplish the overall strategy. Or in normie terms, Humans will set the goals and rules of engagement, and then let the bolo decide how and with what it will use to accomplish the goal set before it. But there were also safeguards, such as the Resartus Protocol and the Omega Worm, both of which were specifically designed to wipe out psychotronic circuitry if the bolo ever went rogue, senile, or suffered irreparable damage to its circuitry. This increase in autonomy initially came at a steep price and loadout. Main ship battery sized weapons were deleted in favor of twin length light hellbores or entirely deleting the main batteries to accommodate the large infrastructure required to mount and utilize first generation psychotronic circuitry. This was the case of course until rapid increases in technology in the Mark 22 which finally allowed for the reintroduction of ship of the line 90 centimeter super hellbore guns to be remounted. With these hurdles finally surmounted with the missing link in between categories 2 and 3, then Mark 23 slash BX 0075 Nike, which had an additional 11 meters of hull length with the additional space in between infinite repeaters 3 and 4, covering the entire length of the missile deck between both turrets. An experimental unit of the Enhanced Combat Capabilities Program was to incorporate a secondary brain and the first truly human sounding bolo. However, according to Captain Merritt, Nike's commander, most bolos past Nike up to at least Mark 25 used a computerized vocoder voice to overly not disturb their commanders with how human they could possibly sound. Category 3, Fully Sapient. The first production bolo, Mark 24 Cognitus, were essentially the Nike variant, but with a reduction from two back to one main battery turret. In this era, despite bolos from Mark 20 to 23, being given increases in mark based on advances in psychotronic circuitry, bolo marks of this era were again defined by battery and armament size, as opposed to increases in processing capability. This continues until the final iteration of the standard bolo, the Mark 32. The main difference of this variation of psychotronics is the bolo personalities were finally allowed increasing levels of strategic control 
as threats became more frequent and dangerous, especially in the case that their commanders could be incapacitated or killed in battle, while the Bolo could theoretically remain operable and combat effective. This led to the culmination of the final iteration of Psychotronics in our final category. Category 4, Symbiotic. From the Mark 32 onwards, all Bolos had a direct neural link between the commander pilot and the Bolo itself. When the commanders would enter the crash couch, which is a self-contained pilot cockpit's life support interface and escape pod, they would directly interface with the psychotronic circuitry that contains the AI. This allows for the perfect fusion of the pure numerical logic of the Bolo AI and the killer instinct of the human on the battlefield. This is exemplified by Mark 33 1097's Shiva during the intro from Time to Kill. It's difficult to accurately describe in contemporary means, you know, from franchises that are more popular and well-known for normies. So, my 40k fans, you'll get this one, and because it's the easiest one to Google, it's similar to being the princeps of a titan. Speaking of, my first in the Bolo vs. series will be coming up, where we will pit the Mark 33 versus various sci-fi franchises, see which is truly overpowered and which will come out on top. And first up will be the Mark 33 versus a full Titan Legion from Warhammer 40k. Well, I'm writing the script this week. Hopefully we'll get it recorded and polished. Maybe released next week, but IRL is a thing. So with that, guys, thanks for sticking around. If you like what I do, hit that like and sub button. There'll be plenty more Bolo content coming up. And with this new Bolo vs. series, I will take your suggestions in the comments down below. And with that, guys, have a great day. Peace out.